So finally, Brad, we get to shut up all those people in the comments saying, get that guy a microphone. We actually bought you a fucking microphone. So there you go, people complaining that you can't hear Brad. You should be able to hear him now. What would you like to say? Well... In the film Kingsman The Secret Service, there is a scene in which Colin Firth punch shoots his way through a church full of racists while a solo from Freebird plays in the background. If that sounds like the most eye-punchingly awesome thing ever, please pour one out for the original cut of that scene that was seven minutes long we're never allowed to see. For anyone who hasn't seen the film, it's about the halfway point Colin Firth, who is playing an unflappable English super spy, loses his fucking mind and punches his way through an entire thinly veiled parody of the Westboro Baptist Church, killing people with everything from gunshots to the face, punches to the back of the head and an almost insulting amount of mouth slaps. It's not the best scene ever. It's so fucking good. <laughs> That's one of my favourite scenes in movies because it's just Colin Firth just beating the shit out of people. <laughs> the best bit as well, Colin Firth did most of that scene. Like he had a stuntman, and you can see behind the scenes footage where this and the the scene where he gets knocked into the organ. That's the, one of the main things they got stunt on to do, because like Colin Firth had a 55 year old skeleton at that point. It couldn't possibly take that much damage, but the rest of it, it's a lot of it's him. He's also not an action actor. No, no, it's that's not something he's done very often. It's one of the things the director, Matthew Vaughan, he said, we want to put Colin Firth in it because he plays the best, he'd play the best super spy. Mm. And it also, it'd be hilarious to see him just kick the shit out of people. <laughs> and he said to like, Colin Firth, before they filmed it, before you sign on, I want you to know, this is gonna be the toughest six months of your life. And I want you to be aware that if you don't commit, I'll fire you and get someone else. And Colin Firth's like, okay, yeah, sure. So this is actually a quote from Colin Firth where he says, even though there are a few cuts in that scene, we rehearsed it to the point where we could do it live on stage. It's somewhere between a dance and a fight and, and acting. I thought it'd be such a good stage show though. <laughs> You're seven minutes long and it's 40 quid a ticket, but you do get to see Colin Firth punch a church full of racists to death. It's like, seven minutes? Well, that's a good fucking seven minutes. Imagine that as a first date. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to a date, we're gonna watch a stage show, it's got Colin Firth in it. Oh, he was really good in the King's Speech. Really, you enjoyed in the King's Speech? Then you're gonna fucking love this, love. This one's called The King's Man. Oh, is it, <laughs> is it the same kind of thing? Oh, pretty much, yeah. He plays the same basic character. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fucking fuck, fuck. Fucking bugger, 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 buggity, 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 fuck, willy, shit and fuck, and tits. In the final product we got to see, Colin Firth murders about 40 people in about three minutes. However, due to the fact the scene takes place in a church, it was considered somewhat controversial by some critics. However, they were able to mitigate this somewhat by making sure it's clear that every person in that church is a racist asshole. You do not have to be a Jew, a nigger, a whore, or an atheistic science-loving evolution spouter. So you don't feel as bad when they get murdered, really, do you? Because I think he has that entire awesome speech before his mind just explodes and he just unleashes the ass whooping that he's been building up throughout the entire film. I'm a Catholic whore, currently enjoying Congress, out of wedlock with my black Jewish boyfriend who works in a military abortion clinic. The reason they put that scene in as well is they said, right, they build up, they mythologize, they lionize these Kingsmen so much. Like, you see that first bit where Colin Firth, like, Whoops ass. <laughs> and they said he did that while he's calm. We put this scene in to show you what a Kingsman could do if they really wanted to. And that's the idea. The idea is that during that scene, all of his inhibitions are gone. He's not trying to just like knock somebody out, he's murdering the fuck out of people. And it's showing you like this 55 year old man, all this training, these decades of training, this is what they do if he lost it. And I think it really does show. How are they going to top it? I hope they do. I don't know they've how. Got, they've got to find a way. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they've set a press. It's like John Wick. Yeah. The first John Wick, they had the nightclub scene. It's like, how the fuck are they going to top the nightclub scene? So that's where they have to do like the scene in John Wick 2. The bit of the cat coombs is really good. Oh, oh, he's doing shotgun combos. Do you know my favourite bit about that? It's the bit where he's like constantly reloading his shotgun. 
it's the thing, it's a little detail you never see in other films. Like the bit, and he double taps everyone even with a shotgun. Yeah, but um, that's the reason they put that scene in. I think the director said, well, these Kingsmen, like we've established that they're fucking awesome, but I wanted a scene that shows this is what a Kingsman could do if he's pissed off. So I think it's like Taken. Where it's like, what would a guy who's had these like years of training be able to do if he actually decided to use them and didn't care what he did and didn't care who got in his way? However, according to the original author of the comic book the film is based on, Martin Allar, there was actually a seven minute long cut of that scene that he exclusively got to see. According to Millar, along with being much more violent, this scene featured nothing but Colin Firth whooping ass, featuring none of the cutaways present in the final version. Harry! Harry, what the heck is going on? If they had a full version like that, why do they bother with cutaways in the first place? Apparently it was too violent. They put the cutaways in to break up the violence because even just three minutes of solid murder was too much. I think a quote from Mark Millar is like, I'm a video game junkie, I like violent media, but the seven minute cut was just too much. So I asked the director, Matthew Vaughan, like, tone it down just a smidge. And one of the ways they did that was by putting in the cutaways to other characters reacting to the scene, which I'm presuming is the exact same reaction Mark Millar had when he was watching it, because I think one of the bits is Samuel L. Jackson just going, oh God, because his character doesn't like blood in the film. And Eggsy going, oh, oh Jesus, what's going on? Just as you see Colin Firth just knife hand chopping people and just tackling people to the floor off the backs of church pews while firing his handgun through the air. You can't forget the bit where he stabs someone with a gun. <laughs> That's how deadly the Kingsmen are. They can stab you with a gun. He kills... That famously sharp weapon. <laughs> he, just, he stabs a guy in the throat with a fucking gun. I'll tell you what, bring the scene up, we'll get my live reaction to it. Let's do that now. Kingsman, oh look at that, you type in Kingsman, first thing up church scene. So this is my live reaction to it. Three minutes, 36 seconds long, and that's including like the 10 seconds at the start where his mind just goes, oh, the hand gone. And everyone's watching, cutaways, boom, bitch is dead. And then music kicks in. Samuel Jackson, I can't watch this. There it is, oh, hand gone, there we go. Combo, combo. Guy shot in the head, Colin for a dick shot, face shot. Now he's just like DDT in a bald guy. Get smashed in the back, oh, behind the back. Get fucked. So good, <laughs> fucking love this scene. <laughs> then there is the church, the pure sister tackle while he shoots someone in mid fucking air. And then I just get like, oh. The amount of unnecessary combat rolls as well. Like the combat rolls only assist the murder. And there it is, there's the only cut in the thing. Uh, about the one minute 10 mark, he gets tackled across the thing, gets smacked into a church organ. That's his stuntman, one of the few cuts in this scene. All the rest of the cuts are um, only there for the sake of the continuity to get the best possible version of it. They could do it live in real life. Now, oh yeah, he beats someone to death with a Bible. You can't forget that. He kills someone with a Bible. So <laughs> like, this seems fucking brutal on its own. If this was seven minutes long, I can't imagine what was in it that got cut out. Like, I don't understand like, what was it, what was... Like, that's the thing that gets me. It's like, it's just, it's just excessive. These bits of it where he stabs a guy with a gun. Like, you think, like, they're the things that made it in, in the three minute scene. Like, what was in this seven minute long version that was so bad? It's not gonna make it into any of the editions of the film we're gonna get, by the sounds of it. It's not in the Blu-ray. At Mark Millar's behest, the scene was cut from seven minutes to three and several cutaways were added, so it wasn't just a constant stream of hyper-violence. In other words, there's somewhere out there is a seven minute long cut of a scene involving Colin Firth backhanding people that you're not allowed to see. No! I'm gutted I'll never get to see this because yeah. this sounds fucking awesome. I, I reckon like, that can't exist without it coming out at some point. I reckon at some point in the future we'll get that scene. We say that we do, but the Blu ray's out and it's not on there. I love that scene. I love how much effort Colin Firth put into it. The fact they didn't just get a stuntman in. Mm. Apparently, like 90% of the stunts were him which is impressive for a 55-year-old man whose previous film was The King's Speech. And he trained for about six months with a martial artist and a trainer and stuff and got in really, really good shape. There's a couple of things that were him, but the ones that it's where the explosion, I think, that's the only one, because it's like, we can't let a 55-year-old skeleton get smashed into a church organ. Let's just get the guy who's paid to do that to do it. Holy shit, man, we're never gonna get to see it. Fuck.
Since you've got a microphone, why don't you do like, comment, subscribe? <laughs> Just shill the shit out of Yeah, me. go on. Do that thing you've been telling me to do for fucking year. I'm sick of it. So Brad's going to do the like, comment, subscribe this week, and I'm just going to stand here, look off wistfully, thinking about Colin Firth. So, everyone, if you enjoy watching Carl and uh, want to see more content, why don't you subscribe to the channel? Leave us a like so we know that you're actually enjoying the shit we're putting out. And uh, feel free to leave a comment about how great it is that I now have a mic. Although I'm just aware that I've, because I've hung it on the, the stand rather than... No one cares! God damn it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Why do you have this? Why do you have a massive sword that I've never noticed before? Ooh, phrasing. Go to polish your sword, mate. Polish your sword. Why do you have this? Um, I got it from my brother. He got some off uh, some friends they didn't Some friends? <laughs> Well, there's also the uh, Japanese ones as well. <laughs> At least I think they're Japanese. No, they're Indian. It's written on the blade. Why do you... They're not for fighting. They're just display swords that I happen to have. They're fighting words. <laughs> you could probably kill someone with that one because it's sharp. What should we be doing? We should now... Instead of making these videos, it should be videos of me cutting bottles of water in half. <laughs>